The Sigalio ambassador to China, Dr. Abubakar Karim, has been making significant strides since his appointment by His Excellency President Dr. Julius Malapio. Under his leadership, the embassy in China has undergone a complete facelift, creating a more welcoming and professional environment for both local and expatriates. So since I don't come, um, I actually take up office in October last, last year. Um, and since I arrived in October, I think a lot of things we don't do. First of all, um, I want to thank the staff that were meeting here. Um, we don't do work together um, relentlessly for make sure say we put the image of the country before. Before that, before I even assume the office, I decide for develop putting in call me a call as my five year strategic plan. And that five year strategic plan, because there's a saying that if you not plan well, it's a plan for fail. And I think say before you go into any place, understand that the dynamics and look what you need. And the five year strategic plan I decide for put together so that together with the staff Naya, we sit down, we look at her and see how we promote the image and the interest of Sierra Leone. In so doing, um, we look at key areas there where they include infrastructure, um, obviously trade and investment, one of the critical components really, and, and see how we we'll bring Sierra Leone to the people or out the outside world and the outside world to Sierra Leone for let them understand what are the investment opportunities there within the country. Um, and so we look at um, a, a broad um, areas, you know, in terms of the things that we will look, we will do, and in terms of how we we'll get the embassy working more and more for do promotional activities, for do investment forums, we will actually bring in um, investors that will go to Sierra Leone. And when I go don't see quite recently. Um, the good number of uptake of Chinese companies that now where they go. And now then I credit to His Excellency the President. One of Dr. Karim's first priorities upon assuming his role was to enhance the embassy's physical appearance. The building has been refurbished and renovated, giving it a fresh and modern look. He has also implemented new technology and system to improve efficiency and productivity within the embassy. You know, any side we you go, the facelift of that place there, now they begin for talk about you. Because if somebody want to go for go see you, he look outside you day, he look the outside, he they get a different impression about you. So I saw it fit that let will try let will give a better facelift to the embassy. And I'm sure in the evenings if you can hire, you say say go be very happy to tell you they see. Now we can boast of you know an LED screen where they actually regularly show. You know, the beautiful landscape, the beautiful beaches, the opportunities there within Australia Leone in various sectors, you know. And also, you go see the brightness of even with coat of arm, you know, where they really, any sign away to map. If you look along the street now, I think um, on we own side, Australia Leone get the brightest, you know, uh, facelift where you go see. So it's easier now for be noticeable. Like I say, if you want to build the image, it's not just about beautifying the place, but for let people they know about it. So the other thing we will do was that um, I realized say forever, as far as I can tell, we will not get a functional website. We all know say this is not a critical thing. We will use as a way for communicate to the outside world, and it make it also easy for let we people let them interact with we, you know. So we uh, undertake that one day. Um, we don't get a functional website. We um, na uh, the website na Sierra Leone Embassy, you know, um, China dot gov dot sl, you know. So if you want for know more about the embassy, you want for know about what thing that happen. You just go into that as a www.sierraleoneembassychina.gov.sl. 
Aside from the physical improvement, Dr. Karim has focused on boosting the morale of the embassy staff. He had instilled training programs and workshops to enhance their skills and capabilities, as well as foster a sense of teamwork and comrades. This has resulted in a more motivated and dedicated workforce, leading to a higher level of service delivery. Um, as you don't say, you can attest, because you serve me there around, that I laid a very solid foundation for agriculture. We, you know, uh, uh, I believe, say, um, the person that we're in charge uh, will build on that one day um, for make sure, say, we attain his excellency in, in, in agenda. You know, coming here, obviously, is another new challenge, but one that I cherish, because what he give me, not just limit me just to agriculture it opens a wider range of opportunity in all the fields then so uh, to your point specifically in the area of education we don't see the support way china don't give it we don't see the exchange programs their way has been undertaken because you talk about education it's not just about formal education you know we have people where they come where they come for can learn can can get you know uh, knowledge, exchange of knowledge, can actually understand how things then work now. That is all part of education, and I can tell you I don't know the figure, but I believe say uh, from last year to now, we have over several hundreds of Sierra Leoneans. Them we don't come for can undertake, have small 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 programs. Them where they also lead to capacity building. Furthermore, His Excellency Dr. Abubakar Karim has made it a priority to strengthen the relationship between Sierra Leone and China. He has been actively engaging with Chinese officials and organizations to promote trade, investment, and cultural exchange between the two countries. This has helped to raise the profile of Sierra Leone in China and attracting potential investors across the region. And one of the key things they want to be done the area, you know, and uh, about the fish harbor under the Ministry of uh, Fisheries and Marine Resources. We know, say, this now one key area within at the heart of His Excellency the President. We are now in an advanced stage with that. Already, they don't sign the implementation agreement. And hopefully, um, we the expect, say, before the FOCAC, some other agreement will be finalized. We go mean now, then we we'll actually start with the fish harbor construction. But more importantly, as well, is that um, one of the two that they cry for, as soon as we know, for we people them will not be ever know this. When they see that they can't take with fish the Naya, but the problem we'll get is we're not able for export them directly to Europe and America. Because they say we need to get to starting standards who we'll for meat. But the irony is that companies then they can then they can't fish can and go to other country, that same fish day they end up in Europe. So in conversation with the Chinese uh, government, they don't agree, say we will go into then we'll provide we certification, we will mean that we fish product then now will be exported to China directly. You know, and this is a big thing, you know, because what it means is that um, it creates not only a job, but it creates a big market, one of the biggest markets. We are talking about 1.4 billion people, you know. Um, that is a market where nobody can joke with, and we know the love way Chinese then get for aquatic products. Dr. Abubakar Karim Teno, a Sierra Leone ambassador to China, has been marked by sufficient achievement and positive development. His efforts to revamp the embassy and boost staff morale have had a tangible impact on the embassy's operation and reputation. As a result, Sierra Leone's presence in China has been greatly enhanced paving the way for new opportunities and collaboration in the future. For Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting.